Oh, hi. Welcome to Thought Soup Saturday. Look at my pretty sheets. I wish I could spend the whole day on them. I can't. I have so much. Just my head is is just a jumble of thoughts. Um, all of them good. Oh, now two cats are going to run around. I move around like, run, run. This is the time he comes to kill us. Run. Constantly. Uh... What can I tell you, though? What are the actual thoughts? For thought number one, I realized when I look back at my videos, I hold the camera too low, and you see up my nose a lot. Ew. God, that's just... Anyway. Um, so. It's all working. Whatever I'm doing, it, it seems to be working out just fine. Um, I'm over the, the, It's a chaos over there because I'm making a chicken nugget head. I don't, don't even look. Don't look at that. It's disgusting over there in, in the room of requirement. Um, making a chicken nugget head for a friend. I'm doing a video of how I'm making that. That's going to be a, a later. Now I've got chins and up my nose. This is great. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? That's going on. Uh... Realized that 10 years ago yesterday was when my director Perry and I went out to Milford, Pennsylvania to perform our first solo show, The Also Ran, which is about Ford's Theater and Jenny Gourlay, the actress that was there the night that Lincoln was assassinated. Uh, in her, in the town she ended up in, she ended up in Milford, she is buried in Milford, she has relatives there. We did it at the museum that has, the historical society that has a couple of her costumes there. And, and I met some of her relatives and that was a decade ago last night, which is crazy to me that it's been 10 years of that play going not nearly as far as I had hoped it would go, but that's the whole story of the play is how it just also ran in the race, didn't get famous. But somehow I'm getting this niche famous that we'll get to that. Uh, here, but it was just interesting because what happened that night, oh God, this is so mortifying. I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. Um, in the show, I talk about when I discovered that that historical society existed in Milford and that they had some of her things. Most famously, they have what is called the Lincoln flag, which is believed to have blood on it from, it was one of the flags on the box he was sitting in. It is believed to have blood on it. That is his blood from the moment it happened, blah, 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 blah. And they have that on display. And in the show, I talk about, I'm sure that when I contact the society, I'm going to get some, some librarian type woman on the phone who's going to tell me that the flag is in fact on display, but that it is not to be ogled by also rans with dubious intentions. Um, that was my fear. When I did it at the, here I am at the historical society in front of her relatives and all these people. And what I say out loud is, and I call it, I expect to get some librarian type who's going to say to, say to me, the fag is in fact on display. <laughs> I've completely said, the fag is in fact on display. And I looked at the back of the audience and saw my director and we were like, oh Christ. <laughs> so yes, 10 years ago last night, the fag was in fact on display in Milford, Pennsylvania. Well, well, well. Flash forward. I'm getting a lot of signs and indications of late that whatever I'm doing is working. Uh, at the stage door of my theater, I've had a couple, more than a couple nights where some of the, the kids, you know, hanging out for autographs from the cast are also like, Billy, hi, can we have your autograph too? I mean, they know me because of my big mouth on social media and, you know, kids that follow the show start following us as well. And well, isn't that sweet? Uh, and then last night, hi, John from Altoona, John from Altoona, who had come into the city. I don't know that he specifically came to see me do Prince Charming, You're Late, in its tragically under-attended off-Broadway run a summer, two summers ago. But he was there at the stage door, and I mean, it was a baffling, like, do you remember me? And I was like, uh, you're familiar, but do I owe you money? Uh, couldn't figure out why. I'm like, oh, of course, John from Altoona. Hi, John from Altoona. So he, he came uh, by to say hello last night. Isn't that sweet? And then last night, I got the nicest card from a friend, a wardrobe friend that I've worked with on and off forever, just saying, you just need to know all the good you put into the world between, you know, not just your, your writing and the, the tree show that I make for our local every year and my Easter bonnet stuff that I've done and all that, but just, you know, in general. And I'm like, well, isn't that nice? Because in my head, I'm just a bitch all the time to everybody on the, oh, look at this, look at this idiot on the street. I mean, that's me in, in my head all the time. So the exterior part seems to be working. Why is that, Billy? Because I'm sober. Get it? Because I'm sober and doing the work. Back to Easter Bonnet. Okay, well, here we have one of the posters from one of the Easter Bonnets. That was a prop in one of the ones. The, the, the ghost light bonnet that I made for my dear friend, Jen. God, April 1st, it's going to be four years since Jen died of COVID and that very first wave of people that died on respirators, on ventilators before they knew anything that was going on. 
a uh, whole shelf of Easter bonnet memorabilia and bonnets I've made and awards that I've won and a prankus scared that I'm going to kill him. Anyway, met with them yesterday because they're, we're, we're doing, they're doing a pivot in how this Easter bonnet show is going to be this year, uh, other than how it's been for many, many years. And the fact that I was, again, invited to the table with the head of the organization and the you know, executive producer of this event and organization to sit and discuss, just the three of us, what, what is it, what's it been, what can it be, what, 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 was really an honor. Uh, it's devastating to me that it's not continuing just as it is because I love it as it is. And this is another thing about, I don't know if it's human nature, but it's definitely alcoholic nature. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to change anything that wasn't my idea. So whoa, whoa, we're changing. Whoa, why are we doing that? Let's not change it. Let's just do it. Uh, the other side of that is though, if it was my idea to change it, what are we waiting for? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's change it. So anyways, meeting with them about what could it be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Was was an honor and a lot, but also just a, a devastating, like, okay, change is coming. It, within that, Broadway Cares has done for a few years now, uh, Christopher Radko, who makes those gorgeous blown glass Christmas ornaments, uh, they've been doing a Broadway Divas series. Every year they'll do a different Broadway Diva as an ornament. And as a gift to me for meeting with, with them, this past year's ornament was Cheetah Rivera. Now, this is the ornament of Cheetah from Kiss of the Spider Woman that I was given yesterday. Isn't that something? Look at her. And of course, if, if you know who she was, she just passed at age 91 this past week, which is a, a huge loss to the, to the Broadway community because she was just such a, she's done a million things, a million awards, a million, and, and a real champion for Broadway Cares and a real, a, a force for good. Wow, wow, wow. Something I really should emulate. Uh, original Anita and West Side Story and amazing, which is Casey Likes is in her dressing room. Uh, at the Winter Garden, which is where West Side Story premiered. So, uh, wow, what a, what a lovely gift to get that Cheetah ornament yesterday for, for my collection and for just because, because they love me. Anyways, um, I'm working on Chicken Nugget over here. Ugh, so much to do. Honeys. And I got a two-show day ahead. Uh, so I'm going to go do that. And uh, thanks for your patronage and tuning in and letting me know that it's working somehow and that you you like to hear me run my mouth and see my face in the street. Ha, my face in the street, but not up my nose. Look at this filthy apartment. Someone's going to dust this place. Okay, come on over and dust. Bye.